All right, I was gonna do this like when it was announced, but um, okay, fairy type for Pokemon. I think this is a good idea. Um, I'm thank God there's finally a new type. I mean, everyone was speculating ever since Sylveon was announced, and just the way it looked and everything. Everyone thought, oh, it must be a new type, which is great that it's a new type. And fairy type is interesting as well. Um, not really, not much is really known about it apart from that. Um, apart from that, Sylveon and Flabebe, whatever that thing is, it's like a, I don't even know what it's supposed to be, it's like a flower with a thing, but what the fuck happened to Pokemon? <laughs> um, but apart from that, nothing's really else is known about it, apart from that, it's good against Dragon, which, I was reading into this, apparently it was introduced because to balance Dragon, because Dragon only has two weaknesses, um, you know, Dragon and Ice, which, um, you know, anyone on Wi-Fi carries, like, at least one Dragon. Not always, but the ones that I, the Wi-Fi battles I've done, even the ones I haven't shown, I've always seen at least one Dragon, or, or like, a very powerful Dragon-type attack, like, you know, Draco Meteor, Outrage, stuff like that. But I, I do like it, um... And there's, there's uh, apparently there's going to be a bit of a retyping. I mean, Jigglypuff's a fairy. Meryl is a fairy. Gardevoir is a fairy. What about Clefairy? I don't know. If you ask me, I think they should take all Pokemon that are in the egg, the fairy egg group, which, um, the fairy egg group, and just, um, I think just maybe put them all as fairies. Or just maybe fairy like looking Pokemon. Um, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine they'd turn Pikachu into a fairy. I mean, they can't do that, I don't think. Um, but I think this is a good idea. Um, and I think, I heard that um, Mewtwo, Mewtwo's other form, might be psychic and fairy. And um, a friend of mine, he has this theory that fairy might also be good against steel types. And that's why in that new movie, when Genesect is fighting Mewtwo, the altered Mewtwo, they will be able to match one another, because Bug is good against Psychic, and Fairy is good against Steel. So, that's just one, that's just one theory, and I guess that's what Pokemon has really sort of become, just this endless bucket of, like, ideas, theories, mythos, everything, which I love it before. I just, that's, I think, just makes Pokemon such an, such a long-lasting series. Um, but we'll see. Um... I, I do have to question why it's good against Dragon. I mean, ever I mean, you know, nine times... I mean, yeah, sure. I can't speak today. I mean, it just seems a bit questionable at times. But then again... Um, then again, I always kind of wondered why is Dark good against Ghost. But I think the purpose of that was just balance Ghost out. So, um, But I think this is a good idea for... For Pokemon, and we'll um, we'll see what it does, and maybe they'll release a few new fairy types, and maybe they'll just release a few new Pokemon as well. Um, I thought E3 was great. Um, looking forward to Smash Bros. 4, and I am definitely getting the Wii U now. Like I was, um, I was really just on the fence the entire time of should I get the Wii U or not. But now that they've announced Smash Bros. 4, I am definitely getting it. Xbox One, get out. PS4 welcome. Um, and PS4 ain't that much, I was only like 400 bucks. Um, but, uh, I think this is a good idea for fairy type. Uh, that's, I only really, like, saw the Nintendo panel. Um, Battlefield 4, though, looks really good. I mean, uh, the maps in Battlefield games are huge, but Battlefield 4, the multiplayer map, I think it was called Shanghai or something, a map in Shanghai, it was just this giant thing. You're in, like, a bloody tower, like, 500 stories tall or whatever. Um, but I think Xbox One, I don't think that's going to do very well, but, you know, well, I say that, and Halo 5 was also shown there, which makes me very excited, but now I'm like, dang, now I have to get an Xbox One. <laughs> and you can't, like, you can't, it's not backwards compatible, it's, you can't, like, lend games to your friends, you can't do anything with the Xbox One, and the camera always has to be on. So, we've now integrated elements of 1984 into into the world of video games. Um, that's another rant I'm just gonna do all together, really. 
Um, I guess it's more of an E3 rant than a uh, Pokemon rant. Or, yeah. But, um... And there was a few new Pokemon also shown. Uh, let's see. Noivern, which is a uh, flying dragon, looks really cool. Uh, Talonflame, which is the evolution of Fletchling, which is fire flying, which looks really cool. Um, what else did they? They showed some seahorse looking like thing. Um, oh, Vivillion, which looks really cute. It's like the this generation's butterfly based Pokemon, I guess. It's actually kind of cute looking. Um, it's got those big just eyes for it, like this almost. I don't know. Uh, but man, I want to play this game now. Pokemon X and Y it looks really cool. Um, but I guess that's all I really have to say for today, because, I don't know. Um, but I might do some other stuff later, and my phone is ringing. So, uh, I'll see y'all later.